Welcome back to Sunrise, everyone. I'm Jalen Fong. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm Jacqueline Aguilar. Well, Jalen, the plot is as thick as a Dairy Queen blizzard. Who stole a 15-foot red spoon and why? What, you mean this one? <laughs> Looks exactly like that one. How'd you get it? Oh, and, man. And a blizzard, too. Well, Jalen, we know, we probably know, we have an idea of who took it, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, as David Caltabiano reports, the massive utensil was found by a man playing a video game on his phone. Take a look. This is what we were all looking for. Michael Foster was actually playing Pokemon Go in West Phoenix. Oh, which I do every morning. I was walking through the park and decided I wanted to catch a few more Pokemon. But this morning, instead of finding Pikachu, he found the huge 15-foot red spoon on this field near Atkinson Middle School. Foster says he knew it was stolen from our Arizona's family newscast. I had just seen the story last night on Channel 3, and uh, I... I couldn't believe I was looking right at the spoon everybody's been looking for. The gamers set aside catching them all and called Phoenix police. They were extremely happy to see the spoon. The spoon traveled from the Dairy Queen near 52nd Avenue and Thomas to the middle school less than two miles away, giving people in this area a real brain freeze. It was wild. I couldn't believe it, just sitting there in the schoolyard. Investigators released pictures of surveillance video to take a bite out of crime. Police are looking for these three people who investigators say unbolted the $3,500 spoon and damaged the building in the process. How do you steal a 15-foot spoon and nobody notice? Well, at least one person found it. I was very shocked. A sweet ending to an unforgettable search. It wasn't as big as you thought it was going to be. The it was bigger. I thought it was like seven, eight feet. That thing's twice my length, 15 feet long. It's a big spoon.